So it seems like you've got some pretty strong boundaries that that you work to, um, your non-negotiables. Yep. And, and one of those, which I think is the core of this, is there needs to be honesty from you, but honesty from them as well, yeah. and and not making excuses. But if it's not my fault, Pierre, I mean, actually, <laughs> if it's not my fault, then it's not an excuse. It's just I didn't do it. How do you draw the line between excuse and just telling the truth that somebody else screwed up? So, again, it's impact, you know, unpacking the facts. Okay. So, uh, okay. you know, give me the facts. Uh, I, I've rarely put, I, I have to put two people in the same room to have a debate on, you know, wh who is wrong, who is right. You know, at the end, you have to leave the people do their job, right? And you can just say, okay, I, I see it, but then you have to talk to each other. You know, it's, if, it's a, if it's a personal problem between two people, do it. Yeah, in, in my personal experience, I had um, one that got got to me because uh and and i don't have some you know i'm very resilient so it's usually it's hard to get <laughs> to get under my yeah. skin um I, it was someone at parity with me uh, a, a lady who was a fantastic expert at uh, reimbursement and and some of the things that are very critical in our business and yet i could not get a level playing field with her of understanding each other and and finding a common way to work together it was very challenging and i was really bat battering myself like you know how is that possible that i you know with everything i know i cannot find a way to be reasonable in our discussion it was always like uh, it could not work and so i'm, I'm not sure at the end you know i, I think today I, I will be a better person to talk to or to or to move forward with that kind of person i think it's really you can make mistakes and you are not perfect and that's how it is and and you have to accept sometimes that it doesn't work with some people i i think i think that's very brave i think one of the the key things i'm brave of you to say as well i think one of the key things is just having that experience just putting yourself out there putting yourself into these tough situations putting yourselves into these uncomfortable situations that we don't always want and every time i've done that it's taken a while, but I've gone, okay, so there's a silver lining here. There's, there's, some, there's some good as well as some bad, and then you build that up. So I think experience is, is vital in those areas, and experience doesn't mean age. You can put yourself into tough situations every single day and gain experience very quickly, and I, I think that the two are separate. So how do you put yourself into tough and difficult situations so you can get some of this learning, Pierre? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I do. I, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be humble about the whole thing because um, sometimes you don't find the solution or the key. But yeah. what I have done yeah. lately, uh, lately, you know, it has been uh, a journey with, in fact, thanks to uh, Woody at COCF, uh, we have worked a lot on ourselves. So it's right. how do you um, take a step away from the emergency yeah. How do you, we call that the grab in our discussions, but how do you take a step away from uh, something that is annoying and, and take a step back? So it's usually by breathing or by, you know, by being aware of what's happening. And then it makes you think on how you're going to address it instead of like you react right away and then you become aggressive and it doesn't work. And okay. so that has really helped me a lot in terms of, okay, I see something that I don't like. But give me a minute, you know, to regroup, think about it, maybe uh, put my body into the right place, physically, mentally, and then address it. No, it's, I, I know that there's one thing, I, I, I can't remember who it is, but um, one of the things I do with that is I say, that's interesting. Can you explain why you said that? Or that's interesting. Can you explain um, what that means to you? And just having that separation because you're acknowledging the other person because people will generally only be either aggressive or angry because they feel justified in that. So there's got to be something, there's got to be a reason behind them saying that. And there's, you know, there's other issues going on, but generally I think that being listened to and being heard, because, you know, I've been on phone calls where I've waited two hours and I've been cut off and I've phoned back and I've lost it. And you sit there going, I'm a calm person. How did I lose it after waiting on this call or or having a problem? So we all get to that situation. How do you personally 
prevent yourself from getting to that point yeah so so today is different from the past and i've learned a lot in fact in the last two years so maybe another element is always learning right always be open to new ideas and um, it's really about breathing for me it's about uh, putting myself in a oh, space okay. where you know i can i can be you know, I can, you know i can throw it in front of you but it's really about standing up straight making sure that you you have a deep breathing exercise you know through your navel uh, for three or four deep breaths and that resets oh, completely okay. your body and your brain it's just amazing tony how it works and and that has really helped me address a number of uh, scenarios that i would have uh, with my latin blood you know i would have jumped on uh, in the past so so you give yourself a quick reboot clear out the memory exactly. and then you start again i love exactly. that <laughs> <laughs> for now, now when i started my career it was reboot it'll fix it now i have to reboot myself okay that's so, a great way to put it um, <laughs>